In this video, we are going to check out some distortion filters and the ways that you can distort your photos. We won't go through all of them, but I'll show you a couple so you can see them. If you go to filter and then go down to distort, you can see we have a displace, pinch, polar coordinates, ripple, shear, sphere rise, twirl, wave, and zigzag. So if I click on the sphere rise, you can see it's going to bulge out our image. Uh, so you can see how much it'll bulge out. Let's zoom out a little bit in the preview window. So here we can suck it in or we can bulge out the whole image. We can change the mode horizontal only or vertical only. So we'll bulge just those sections. We'll do normal and we'll just hit OK. And you can see that it does just that. It creates this bulge looking effect for us, which is something that you might be able to use. So we'll take a look at a couple other ones here. We can do like a wave here. And it's going to create a wave looking effect on your image. So if we click randomize, you can see the different waves that it will create. Uh, but you can choose the number of generators that it's going to make, the wavelength. So you can see how it's affecting the image. And if we move it around, it actually looks like a wave moving. So we can change that around, the amplitude, how high, how low, and so forth. And then the scale. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then you can see how it's distorted the image that way. So the distort filters are just another way to come in and edit your photos, and they give you some really cool effects. Uh, you can see that there's a number of different ones. You can displace them. You can cause ripples. It just polar coordinates. You can pinch them. So if we hit pinch, it works kind of like um, the bulge works only in the opposite direction but definitely go ahead and mess around with these and see how they all work and if you want to learn more you can definitely always check out uh, photoshop's website and it'll show you more of these but they're just ways for you to edit your photos and hopefully you can use them in your projects